हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लेट्स ट्राई ओपीएससी होप ऑल ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन गोइंग वेल एंड एज आई हैव रिपीटेड दैट इन मेनी ऑफ द वीडियोस दैट गेट योरसेल्फ वैक्सीनेटेड इफ इट इज अवेलेबल इन योर लोकेलिटी देन गेट योरसेल्फ रजिस्टर्ड एंड गेट योरसेल्फ वैक्सीनेटेड इट विल हेल्प फॉर योरसेल्फ फॉर योर फैमिली मेंबर्स एज वेल एज बीइंग ए ब्यूटीफुल सिटीजन ऑफ द नेशन you supposed to be doing this for the society so friends uh, before we start today's discussion i want to say something that answer writing is very important how many of the people like uh, my test series subscribers my uh, class co subscribers many have messaged me regarding how to start answer writing answer writing is the important part of your selection process the moment you start answer writing in the first answer you may not be writing a great answer you may be having read the content but you may not be able to reproduce that content on the answer sheet and it can also happen that sometimes you will take much longer time to write the answers rather than that of what is required to answer a particular question it is perfectly fine if you are having this particular problem you can certainly reduce the time period in which you do answer the problem is you do if you do not start answer writing that is going to be a very big issue it may happen that within one hour you can write about only two or three questions but when you will practice it slowly you will slowly bring the down bring it down to the required time limit of a particular question and always try to try to be very much strict about the word limit in opsc what happens if the you will continuously exceed the word limit then also there is a penalty for you and then it can also happen that you may not able to complete the paper apan mane paper bhi complete no kari paranti eta bhi ye achan paper complete no kari bar tho uchi 300 marks ro question re only 250 260 marks appear kari ba 30 to 40 marks chhadi do sei ta bhi hei pare it can happen with you so do not do that particular mistake always try to complete the paper appearing all 300 marks writing real good answers in allotted time try to practice is as many as times as possible try start writing answer one answer two answer three answer then after start making uh, weekly sessions weekly sessions mean try making 10 questions at a time then 20 questions at a time then you can download the previous year papers then after start completing the whole length test full length test within 3 hours if you are able to do that then slowly your efficiency will come slowly you will perform better in answer writing i hope many i have addressed many of your doubts and questions in this particular video slowly you have to start and you do not have to cross the world limit the moment you cross the world limit there is a chances of penalty not only that you may not able to cross the complete the paper so these are the things which you have to keep it in mind start slowly do slowly and then after increase the process increase the process and try to complete every day try to write one one more question than what you wrote yesterday and you can make it a exercise in the week week days just like saturday or sunday doing uh, uh, 10 questions at a time you can do that in a categorical plan process that will help you in your preparation and all those uh, uh, institutes and all those uh, youtube channels who are not advising you to answer writing they are committing a grave mistake you cannot make the cut without doing answer writing answer writing is absolute must so i hope you have got something in this particular video today we will be discussing master key set number 
and for my new youtube subscribers that we have started a dedicated test series for uh, uh, prelims if you are interested you can still join our test series by paying 599 rupees if you are interested you can download the sample copy of our test series from the description the link given in the description and if you are interested you can say hi i am interested in your test series in my email address abisoi27 at the rate gmail.com my email address is also there in the about section do check it out so let's start today's discussion which indian state has become the first to get the villages recognized by tsunami ready by unesco united uh, unesco has declared it as tsunami ready is it a odisha is it b kerala is it c maharashtra is it d tamil nadu tsunami ready the answer is a odisha odisha has been declared by the unesco as tsunami ready tsunami ready it's a wonderful thing that uh, our disaster management is being recognized in the international forums that is a good sign of our uh, disaster management skills that we have achieved post super cyclone 1999 then coming to the next question where was the fourth edition of future investment invest uh, initiative forum 2021 recently held virtually is it a seoul south korea is it b new delhi india is it c riyadh saudi arabia is it d jakarta indonesia fourth edition of future investment initiative forum 2021 the answer is c riyadh south africa uh, saudi arabia riyadh saudi arabia they are uh, ho hosting this particular thing called as future investment initiative then coming to the next question according to the government data which of the following periods recorded as the highest ever fdi equity i repeat which of the following is the highest foreign direct investment equity inflow to india in first 18 months of 2020 to 21 financial year 2020 to 2021 financial year is it a april to november 2020 is it b march to september 2020 is it c march to september 2020 is it uh, c january to june 2020 is it d may to december 2020 highest fdi flow the answer is a april to november 2020 from april to november 2020 the highest fdi inflow happened to our country remember april to november then coming to the next question which was the india's ranking 2020 corruption perception index corruption perception index cpi released by transparency international is it a 72 is it b 86 is it c 40th is it d 88 the answer is b86 india's position in corruption perception index is 86 we are far behind in the corruption uh, perception index all those developed countries they are promoting transparency the moment transparency is pro promoted then slowly we will come to the top it is not happening uh, though mr modi came in the plan that he will bring you more transparency but it has not happened you can see that in the reality in corruption there is electoral bonds electoral bonds you can say is a another breeding ground for corruption all these big corporates they are diverting their you can say black money which and they are not paying in the tax they are diverting into a particular political party in order to win elections so that is slowly india is coming down in corruption perception 
which of the following regions of India is the home to 428 species of birds as per data of Geological Survey of India. 428 species is located uh, means uh, seen in this particular thing. Is it A. Western Ghat? Is it B. Sundarbans? Is it C. Eastern Himalayas? Is it D. Kerala? 428 species. The answer is B. Sundarbans. Sundarbans is where this uh, 428 species are found. Then coming to the next question, where was India's highest metrological center, highest metrological center December, uh, established in December 2020, highest metrological center inaugurated. Is it A. Panaji Goa, is it B. Uti Tamil Nadu, is it C. Leh Ladakh, is it D. Darjeeling, West Bengal, highest metrological center. The answer is C. Leh. Leh Ladakh, India's highest metrological center established in 2020. Leh Ladakh. Then, which country recently announced referendum to add climate goals in its constitution? Add climate goals in the constitution. Very, very ambitious. Is it A. Belgium? Is it B. New Zealand? Is it C. France is it D Bhutan the answer is C France France is the country which has added uh, you can say announced referendum and climate change goals in its constitution now the coming to the next question the Reserve Bank of India in December 2020 announced to set up a automated bank note processing automated bank note processing center at where where they are uh, 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 making this automated bank processing center is it a new delhi is it b mumbai is it c jaipur is it d guwahati the answer is jaipur in jaipur jaipur they are establishing this bank automated bank note processing center Coming to the next question, the uh, US Federal Reserve has recently joined the network of Central Banks of Supervisors, Central Bank of Supervisors for greening the financial system where it is headquartered. The thing is, Supervisors joined network of Central Banks, network of Central Banks and Supervisors for greening the financial system, NGFS where it is headquartered is it a london is it b singapore is it c paris is it d montreal the answer is c paris in paris it is being there now coming to the next question what was india's rank in human development index 2020 that was released recently is it a 97 is it b 113 is it C 131? Is it D 142nd? India's Human Development Index. The answer is 131st. Very low. Then, uh, which state agency advised people not to go to Baga Beach after Portuguese men of war? Is it A Goa, Baga Beach? Is it B. Tamil Nadu, is it C. Gujarat, is it D. Maharashtra? The answer is A. Goa. Baga Beach is there in Goa. Now, coming to the last question of today's discussion Which institute scientists have developed an industry based microprocessor chip called Rice Creek, Rice Creek under the project Sakti? Is it A. IIT Delhi? Is it B. IIT Madras? Is it C. IIT Kanpur? Is it D. IIT Mumbai? The answer is IIT Delhi. A. IIT Delhi has started this Raij Creek. Raij Creek thing which is uh, there under Project Shakti. So with this we completed today's discussion of 
मास्टर की सेट नंबर 18 इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन जॉइन द टेस्ट सीरीज मेनी ऑफ द YouTube सब्सक्राइबर्स हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन एडमिशन एंड दे आर सीरियसली डूइंग द दिस पर्टिकुलर सेट टेक केयर ऑफ योरसेल्फ एंड डू नॉट वेंचर आउटसाइड थैंक यू वेरी मच